And welcome to the all-new BTS. It's Q103 Behind the Scenes, where we take a look at, well, something that we did on the morning show today and talk about what we're going to do on the morning show tomorrow. Uh, by the way, the BTS, it's all new, and I would really appreciate your comments. You can send those in to me, shaggy at q 103 mauicom and you will want to keep that address handy because... Well, you'll see in a sec. Let's dive into our, our big Q of the day. I asked you about conspiracy theories and found one of my own to uh, put out there, okay? We all know how much Monsanto is so bad, right? And they do this thing called GMO, genetically modified organisms. Well, what if it was a GMH, a genetically modified human? That's exactly what has happened from New Jersey. Last night, the big story came down that the Research for Reproductive Medicine and Science in, uh, I think it's Barbados in um, New Jersey. Well, anyway, they released a, a, a kind of a bombshell. 30 kids in the last three years have been born that are genetically modified. Now, how are they modified? Okay, this is the kind of cool part. If you're a woman that has trouble conceiving, you know how heartbreaking it is to have a child. Well, this Institute for Reproductive Medicine and Science came up with an easy solution to that. Take the genetics from a healthy child-bearing woman into a unhealthy child-bearing woman, mix it with the DNA of the father, bada-bing, bada-boom, science happens, and then all of a sudden you have a baby. That's great, right? You're thinking, hey, cool, we can now give kids to people that actually want kids. Well, here's the problem. The human germline, or the genome, now, for these 30 kids, contains not two, but three sets of DNA that they can pass on to the next generation. What does this mean? It's the first time in human history that we have ever tampered with human DNA, and it's able to reproduce. And what does this mean in the long term? Nobody knows, and even science is guessing that either A, we could uh, end up in a society with designer babies. Hey, you want your kid to have red and pink eyes? Well, you can. Just come on down to the gene splicing pole, and we'll do it for you. Uh, you could do that. Or they're saying that we could corrupt the human genetic code, therefore making it impossible for us to uh, evolve into healthier creatures as the environment on planet Earth changes. What do you think? Because I ask a very simple, kind of stupid, but simple question. If you knew somebody that you were with was genetically modified, would you be able to date them? Marry them? Have kids with them? Would you have a GMO in your bedroom versus a GMO in your refrigerator? because that seems to be the big deal with our listeners, let me know, okay? You can either put it here in the comments or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Q103Hawaii. Coming up on tomorrow's show, I am a big fan of Redbox. Redbox has kind of like saved my movie life, especially since I'm one of those ones that cut the cord for my cable company. But I used to work in a video store. So tomorrow's show is all about renting videos and where you do it and how you do it. Okay? So tune in 6 to 10 a.m. at Q103. We're at 103.3 and 103.9 FM in Hawaii and online worldwide, Q103Maui.com. And, of course, through our very handy-dandy Maui radio app. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the new BTS. Let me know what you think of it. Shaggy at Q103Maui.com. Till tomorrow. See you then. Want to see more Q103? Check out our blog on our website. For extended artist interviews, behind the scenes videos, and more. And more. Log on to Q103Maui.com today. Q103.